Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to take English literature. This is your English course book. And this book is published by, as we can see, a uh, greenhouse book and written by Amarpreet Kaur. This is the cover page of your book. And uh, this is the content of your book. As we can see, it has 14 chapters, but today we will do chapter number one, which is Cock a Doodle. Okay. F uh, first of all, uh, I hope everyone know what does it mean by a cock. Cock means an adult male chicken and doodle means the noise made by an adult male okay so let's get started i know a lovely dicky bird this boy is saying that he know a lovely dicky bird dicky means a child word for a bird okay and a, a cock a doodle do a cock a doodle do means he is talking about the noise made by a cock okay my father and my mother and my sister know it too he is trying to say like everyone in his family know about this cock okay in earlier days uh, what is the first thing everyone hears in the morning? Can anyone guess? Yes. In the earlier days, uh, everyone used to wake up by hearing the noise of noise made by a hen or a cock. Right? But these days we used to get up by hearing alarm clock. Right? Okay? So moving on on the next stranger, it strut about the about so gaily. What does it mean? It means like uh, this is a male chicken walk stiffly. Stiffly means like uh, stiffly means uh, something rigid, a very rigid, which which is very uh, which is very hard. We can say. Um, and so about the happily happily strut means to walk in a proud way happily strut means to walk uh, sorry uh, strut means to walk uh, stiffly and uh, gaily means happily so he is saying this uh, cock is uh, walking uh, with her uh, walking in a proud in a proud way and it is very happy okay and it is brave and strong it is very brave and strong too and when it crows it crows both very loud and long uh, here um, crows means a loud noise which is uh, made by a cock okay so when uh, when uh, this cock start uh, doodling it skip it keep on doodling okay oh cock a doodle do its crow this sentence refer uh, refers to the crow of a rooster okay a cock a doodle want leave off, leave off its cock a doodle when a mother dear cries don't it means after re repeated hearing of a doodling of a cock her mother used to shouts at the shouts at the cock and ask not to doodle any more okay so here uh, we have finished uh, this uh, poem so I hope everyone has gained something from this uh, teaching session. Okay, so now uh, we have completed this poem.
we will solve some question and answers right so here is uh, tick the correct option okay here uh, what i'm going to do i'll do one and then rest of and remaining uh, you guys have to do it right so first question is the child is talking about a we have three option first cock crow and bird so here of course uh, the answer will be cock this is quite easy hope everyone will able to solve this one right so moving further uh, right true or false okay the child fa father doesn't know about the bird this is false because in the first stranger of the poem um, we read that that everyone know about this cock right so moving further fill in the blanks cock is that's and that so we have to uh, fill it here with a suitable word so we can fill it here cock is brave and strong right and the rest you guys have to do it so moving further here is a question answer sorry uh, answer the following questions right so you guys uh, you guys have to do, do this uh, question and answer by your own okay so uh, moving further to vocabulary a okay. tick the correct plural form okay plural means uh, first of all i'll explain here a bit what is plural plural means plural means the form of a noun verb which refers to more than one person or one thing okay so here uh, here is lamp and we have two options lamps and lamps so obviously uh, lamps is the correct answer so b1 this one is the correct answer sorry uh, this one is the correct answer so um what is the next question yeah write the write the sound made by the following birds so here we have to write the sound or let's say the name of the sound which is made by the birds so for like i will do one for you guys and the rest you will have to do it so peacock peacock generally it's a scream so you can say peacock scream okay so next is a grammar portion so moving further complete the sentence with he she it and they okay so we have to fill it here according to the gender and then we will see first uh, first question is father mother and sister know the bird fill in the blanks have seen the bird so here we will put they they have seen the birds here we will use they as a collective noun as a collective noun group okay so and the next one is rewrite the following sentence by changing the gender of the underline underline nouns so here we just have to change the gender like in the first example as we can see here king instead of king um, it changed to queen okay so further uh, we have to do the same thing okay now moving further here uh, look at the picture given below and explain the feature of the bird in your own words so this is a as we can see this is a parrot and so um, you have to write about the parrot okay and the next question is talk talk so Kern has gone to buy a pet from a pet shop complete his conversation with the pet uh, with the shopkeeper Karan, i want to buy a 
fill in the blanks so obviously he went to a pet shop to buy a pet so i want to buy a pet and so like this uh, you guys have to do it okay and uh, please complete uh, these exercises by your own and i will check it once uh, the school will reopen okay thank you guys thank you for your uh, valuable time and please stay home and stay safe